Drakir, the fearsome. Oh dear. Well, uh, shouldn't we do an, a little bit of apology, Gillian? Yeah, we, we did plan to try it on Sunday, but yeah, didn't work out. the days where our summers were more rainy than superheated. something it might be something that hasn't aged well with the game perhaps A little bit surprised. Question What is a beluga again? I forget, is this a place or as specific good as a fish? As you and the installation is included, Jade. Don't let an occasion like this one get away from you. If beluga is a place or just a fish. For I used to hear beluga a lot, but then I haven't heard of beluga until this game, basically. Wait. 
I think I just realized. I think a beluga whale. Black hole. You have your own gravity? <laughs> no, no, it, it was, that was not the fat yoga. I was wondering if you had the same superpower as a gravity girl. Identification. Okay. A set of pods completely restores. A set of pods completely restores. A set of pods completely restores. A boost capsule temporarily triples. A box of K Bubs completely restores your energy. Want me to purge them in holy fire? Identification. Okay. The repair pod restores one wrench. The repair pod restores one wrench of your vehicle's energy. Good question. Good question. It would be nice. I suppose that would still count as a blimp. Yes, you have. This motor of yours has some kick to it, Mama Go. I want to end that moon a bit too close. Yeah, do it again. Our moon used to be a lot closer to us, like... I think... Uh, oh, uh, okay, I might be wrong here. I think during the Cretaceous, its distance between the moon and Earth was hard. I, I might be wrong, it might be less or more. Probably less, but... Yeah. That's it. 
Yeah, I feel like the animals would be fun, especially if they are f a bit funny or just awesome. And they are at least all on the same place, at least. Might be. You, you might get it if you win. If you win the third race. Oh, yeah, I was going to if you didn't mean he motorized for he had a pill in his head. You clean clean out one of them. I don't think you clean out both, just one of them. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Hold up. A, a what slug? Planaires detest the light. It's rare that they come out of their lair. A polypotty amoeba? My compliments. That's it. Them. Okay, I recall them, yeah. <gasps> Wait, does this count as him making cameo? You better tell him that you're later. <laughs> Hmm. 
think you might be right. Yeah, that, it would be. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, it has to be about all the 2,000 cents. Yeah, Xbox didn't co come out until uh, after the, the Millennium Shift. Perfect. I'll add it to the list. If they make an anniversary release, please new voice active for all the damn things. And whoa! whoa wait, 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 wait. It's alive. Congratulations. Information on giant snails are difficult to come by. Snail? It's like... You know what? Can you... Grab me some butter and garlic. Oh. Well, I'm... Wait, I just really used to make garlic butter and make a one giant escargot. Huh. I, I can say this. I think you could eat a snail just fine. Just does it taste anything? No. Because in this case, it's probably better to taste nothing than, you know, something disgusting. So yeah, if someone offers me a cargo, I will eat it. But if I can pick something else on the menu to order with my own money to eat, then I will not order it. So yeah, I will only eat it if someone offers me it. That's it. Or, well, survival situation. I just had that like brilliant idea. If you had to choose one of these two, which would you eat? Is cargo or Sue Streaming? <laughs> I can say this. At least if you eat a cargo, at least you will have some garlic, uh, butter, garlic, uh, butter, ga garlic butter. How pilu pilusis? Remarkable. I don't think I've ever seen one this size. I, I did. For some reason, it sounds more like an insult. If I were to choose between Escogo and Zeus drumming, fermented herring, Escogo easily. It is a butter, the garlic butter will improve the flavor. I'm not sure what improves the flavor of fermented fish. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I do think it would make a great it biological weapon. Because putting your pro it, have it break, and you will see people abandon ship quickly. Wait, I Maneuver not allowed. Collision risk high. It might not be worth it, considering you are warm. The wheat and the wusses still have three more seconds to get the hell out of here. Right. Back to your and I remember something. This is my little yoke. How did he actually invented steam bombs? Uh, yeah, they just for. They put anything disgusting, their own poo mixed with rotten fish and anything smelly, coated in a gray crayon, a crayon, to be later thrown against an enemy ship. I mean, it was, yeah, it was meant to, your soups went so bad that it was hot. Uh, and uh, people on the ship were able to do things correctly. Balloonians used. There seems to be a report they may have a infantry used flamethrower. They just not found a physical form of it. And it's not a handheld version, but I think they have found some of the grenades. But I'm not fully sure though. Prove our worth, Miss Jade. They don't look overly friendly. Trace! Those! Check up if Cause and Peter started out as a inside joke. We've won the 
champion stick! Ha ha ha! Oh! Let me give you a taste! <laughs> Yeah, I did. I will just mention, did he just kiss her? <laughs> I, I, I could see him say it. I could hear him say it, and I saw the subtitle. Oh, dear. Hey down, the chat. Hello. That's weird, unless you forgot to grab one? Uh. I, I just realized something. How is this space worthy with dust plugged in on the back? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> It might have done that. Yeah! Nobody 
means France is a pallet. You got it? Yes! Go! Not bad, Jay. You win. I hope so. Go. Congrats, Alien! Congrats! Ah. Well done! Your voice is mute. Wait, I, wait, am I mute as well? There we go. For some stupid reason, OBS had changed the microphone it was listening to to default without actually listening to any def uh, anything at all. I thought something was weird. Okay, it then. Well, the e earlier. <laughs> go on. Okay, I'm just I'm going to take a moment to rename something here to rename a source to put it at the top. So let's see. Headed lizard. I Name. have a name. <laughs> One point microphone. And then next time I start up OBS, it should be at the top. But really, that's really strange that it. Uh, OBS is. Uh, okay, we've been at this for a half an hour. So uh, let me just summarize then what happened or what we basically. Uh, th 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 yeah, we discussed what happened last time. I left the choice of going for extra stuff uh, up to Drakir. Um, yeah, we did. <laughs> we did race three and four. It talked a bit about Double H getting so excited he freaking kissed uh, Jade. And hello, this looks familiar. Uh, hovercraft of the same kind. Um, yeah, let's just get back on this thing. Hmm. Well, accidentally 100%ed it more like. <laughs> uh, yeah, we talked. No, we're not trying. Well, we technically we ha are 100% now. I left the choice to if to go after the last animals up to Drakir, and he said he might as well do it. And we also got all of the pros. I did not expect to beat Francis at all. I remember wasting a lot of time on that in the other times that I've played this game. I have beaten him before, I'm pretty sure. But that was probably only the second time I managed to beat him because, yeah, the, the, it seems a bit random on which discs get selected. So, yeah, oftentimes you might end up getting a disc that you can't put through the middle at all. But... The best way I think to try and beat him is to, well, brute force it as much as possible. Yeah, got all the pearls. Zero on the map, zero on this floor. And that was what I showed earlier here. 
We have every single one of them 1 to 88. And we have no place to spend them because we've bought up all of the stuff from the Mamagos. So we can say goodbye to the rest of the Hillas. Go to the top of the uh, map. I mean, did you say we only missing one animal and it's on the spaceship? Uh, there is, yeah, the, no, on the moon more, because there is still one spot in the roll of, uh, in the roll of film. And no, we, there is still one more animal to get to uh, get that disc. And since we already have gotten all of the animals on the Hillis, that means that the only place it can be is, well, <clears throat> on the moon that or we we missed a photo making a photo of it as a boss or something but i think we got all of the bosses we got the sea serpent because there's a corpse up north of that one uh we got the reaper we got the uh, we got the snake in the isle and actually i think i know what we might have missed we it could have been the uh, the metal gear doms uh, in the factory Hmm. Maybe? Yeah, that, that could be it. And also, uh, Metal Gear Doms is also how the track is called. Where <laughs> that is also the music track that plays as you fight it. But yeah, that, that could have been the one that we've missed. <laughs> so instead of getting a trick shot on it, I should have gotten a photo of it. Oh, well. Um, I don't recall what that disc... And as is, I think it's either a mini game or um, it's either a pro mini game meant for twin stick uh, controllers, which well, obviously I don't have since I'm on keyboard and well, I have what I have don't have connected to this. I don't think I'm not sure if it even works. Um, yeah, it's either the pro game. Or it's uh, a photo album of all of the animals that we photographed. I think it's that one, since, well, it's it's the science center that would be sending it to us. And, well, they got all of our photos, so they might as well use send those back. Hmm. When I upload that episode, when we find that boss, I should probably add in a note to uh yeah make take a photo of this thing you will you will not have another chance or unless there is now if if if, if, if there was a corpse of it lying around uh well we we already collected its corpse aka the pro that it possessed or infected so yeah. yeah we couldn't get a photo of it even if we wanted to now oh well yeah, we're still doing this for the story more than uh, completion. Yeah. So for now then, with what remaining time that we have, we are, unlike, <laughs> unlike crypto and NFTs, we are going to the moon. Algenib, Omega Dipper, off oh, there. We're, we're surrounded by stars, Double H. I no oh no 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 we are not we did not miss anything because now I remember this thing. That's up. Uh... That's the last animal. Megathera anaerobia. It's a space whale. <laughs> what? What? I'd actually forgotten this thing. What the heck? Okay, I'll file it. And she just... <laughs> That's all That's she has it. to say about that. Okay, your roll of film is finished. And yeah, they didn't voice that bit. <laughs> okay, I, I feel like they should give me, paid her a bit more for more voice lines for these animals. Like, yeah. Come on! A space whale, and that's her response. Okay. I, I feel very angrily disappointed. Ronaldo. 
out till we get to the moon. Our mission depends on it, Miss Jade. Now, where is the bloody moon? There it is. Uh. Oh. Sure, this. Yeah, the stupid thing is backfiring. It seems that the Mamago did rip us off on this thing, of all the things to rip us off on. You want to check uh, at the chat a little bit quick? <laughs> yeah, fly me to the moon. Luna base in sight, Miss Jade. I heard that a, a lot when I watched Evangelion on DVD. And here we are, the lunar base. And, well, if that doesn't look uh, ominous at all... There's the transmitter. Um, That's where we need to try to get in. Yeah. Very concerning. And there we go. Breathable atmosphere again. <laughs> It's a good thing that the hovercraft didn't malfunction on the way out, because, uh, yeah, that would have been a very anticlimactic end to the game. It's a disastrous one. Let's see. Can you jump to the gangway? Too high for me, Miss Jade. You have to look else. No, I have to look elsewhere. We might be able to climb up and go around. We aren't far from the transmitter. Affirmative. Access by the gangway. Do you think we'll be able to infiltrate the base from here, or from there? Affirmative. I spotted an anti-gravity elevator while and I was outside. Uh, I hope you were holding your breath very well. Or ac actually, holding your breath in space would be a very bad idea because your lungs would burst. <laughs> would it even <laughs> matter? Uh, not much, no. But it theoretically, it is possible to survive a very, very, very short stint in uh, space, like st like stepping out the door and back in, kind of s short. <laughs> yeah, basically, quick as possible. Shawnee, I've located the probable positions of the Alpha's activities. I've added them to your map for you to look at. Send us the pictures. We don't even have a map of this area yet. So someone's jumping in the gun a bit. All right. Actually, can we break these? No. Okay. They are just small disks. Probably very sharp disks, but still disks. It's not even really supposed to be Account used as a weapon. Identification. Okay. A box of a box. A PA one increases your energy gain. Okay, digitalization terminated. And, well, I think we have more than enough full restores for our vehicle and Jade herself. So let's leave those be. Also because I do not want to hear that annoying voice again. And, well, inventory of Helian Fauna. The new disc, so... Here we can look at every one of the pictures that we took. Even the bad ones. <laughs> May. And I thought for a moment I thought it is Ming Su's name. Ming, yeah, Ming Su was their name. For a moment I thought their name was <laughs> attached to it. Uh, the, the Otter. The Buff Frogs. <laughs> HHS. But, you know, there's the Reaper. <laughs> it's a wonder that people pay for half of these pictures. Because <laughs> a lot of them aren't even that good or have complete uh, photos of the subject. <laughs> there. Uh, okay. Elevator that takes two to activate, and this thing is going down a very long distance. 
And yeah, now Dom's architecture. We're right in the heart of the base, Miss Jade. The heart of the base and the lion's den. I'm getting HR Geiger vibes from this. And you can take an easy guess out to what is this, what's going to be the deal here. Xenomorph? Nope. Yeah, it's going to be light puzzles. Here. <laughs> nice job, Yeet. Mirror? Yep. We're going to have to be reflecting light around quite a bit. I don't, I don't really remember how we're supposed to open that thing, because there isn't really, well, anything here to connect wait, to wait. that. Wait, hold on. Can't we just use my helmet for that? <laughs> uh, would you be willing to get into this uh, drippy place? Second thought, no. Someone tells me it's gonna, it, this place smells w uh, probably similar to uh, fermented herring. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Doms would probably uh, have to as a delicacy. And, okay, that's how I, we get both of the uh, places. I would not be surprised. Just turn this thing around. And there we go. Yeah, Terry, this is one of the best pulls out of any game. <laughs> uh, well, this is one of the rare cases where it's in, done in 3D, I recall, or at least in any games that I've played where they do well, light puzzles like this. And here's another mirror, which, well, means that we're going to put another one around, down somewhere. Didn't we have a puzzle like this in one of the Legacy of Kane games or Soul Reaver? I know Legend of Zelda has plenty of light and mirror puzzles, but there they there they turn more in well set amounts, like 90 degrees and such. I'm not sure if there are many where you can freely turn the lights or the mirrors around. Uh, I feel like there's actually many. Could be, but I don't remember them at the moment. Yeah, another one to put down. And we could turn it all the way around to open the door to that material crystal. But, well, we, d we have no use for money anymore, so we might as well skip it. And there is nothing else hidden there. Just be certain for anyone who might be wondering. Well, there, there's another on the wall, but beyond that... <laughs> All right, and these we can't actually turn. Uh, well, not manually at least, but we can knock them around a bit. Nope. Wrong direction. And then... I just hope the light effects don't cause trouble. Oh yeah, there we go. First puzzle done. Right light! The right light! <laughs> also, all of this green light makes me think of the Staven a bit. It's too quiet around here. Someone is watching us. Yeah. They're just seeing us, didn't you? They're all around us. They're waiting for us. Now I hope I expect Skaven assassins to come for us. Do you feel proud? Now we hey, have hey, this puzzle. Can you hear me? It's me, Jane. This puzzle can keep people busy for a while, since we have to light up all of the crystals on the walls before we can pass on. This first set is easy enough, just turn each one in turn. 
The second and third layer, though, is where it gets annoying. Though, I do recall that there is one simple way of, fi of solving those. Though, I don't remember it at the moment. For now, that's the first layer done. Two to go. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there we go. Um, what were you seeing before? But I, I remember that there was one easy way to solve some of them, but I didn't remember it being that easy. Can we do? Yes, we can. <laughs> so, so you could just end up wasting all of your time moving each and every pillar to do that on its own, or you could just turn the first one a few extra times. Basically, it's extremely easy. Yeah, if you just know that little bit. Although, I, I, I can, I'll fully admit, I've wasted a lot of time on this puzzle the first time around. Uh, oh, Wait, what? Okay, that's a text that that's not I don't actually have donations, so uh jokes on you. Ten four back home. still save the other victims, Jade. We have to wrap up the report. <laughs> yeah, hey, this is sad. We have to bring back the information first. Yeah, just letting the moments be the moments. Yeah, I agree. And immediately we go into the sneaky times again. Now, let's see. I believe up here is nothing special. Oh, I nothing special at the moment, but we will be going back there eventually, I think. Uh, this way is just one of their gunships and some crates, but we do have no use for money anymore. So instead, we have these guys to deal with, who have gotten a lot better eyesight, it seems. I believe it is po possible to fi actually fight them. So their shield bash doesn't actually do anything, but the hammer does hurt. They literally bring down the hammer. So you have a short window of time to actually attack them. Ow. Ow. Let's use that. And this one's been hurt more. 
out too early. And yeah, once you land in a few hits, they actually go into that. St they go. Well, they act as if you've kicked their air support system. Probably because you've done enough damage to them to actually damage their <laughs> life support. And there we go. Just a reminder, I've beaten this game on just two hearts. No PA1s at all. What the heck? The let's play of, uh, I think the let's play of that should still be up on YouTube, but it, it's it's probably five years old at least, if not ten. <laughs> Actually, yeah, probably a lot more than five years. Uh, what the? It did pop up a bit earlier, but this is a cloister of the Doms, and this is the Great Crypt. And again with this track that really makes it sound like you really need to hurry up. And I don't think there's much to... This is a bit of a yeah, an elevator puzzle. We need to find which one leads to the big green one over there, I believe. And All right. This oh, there we go. Actually, we could we could have gone straight and gotten here. <laughs> uh, we fix one puzzle really easily, and then we fumble the <laughs> the easy one. And yeah, the Alpha General is here. I keep forgetting uh -oh. what his name is, even though it's one of the first words in this freaking game that is spoken. General Cranks? sadistically sacrificed, drained of all their energy by a Dom's priest. Revolt, citizens! Drive out the Alpha sections and the Doms! Uh-oh. Yeah, they want yeah. us, specifically. Run. the crates there this way quickly Can I feel my dream? double h i saw the prisoners it's horrible there's hundreds of them
I do like that everything gets hazy as you get closer to... We well. can still save the other victims, Jay. We have to broadcast the report from the transmitter. I, I like it when the visual effects are used to denote emotion even if there is no spoken words. Yes, and my headphone is on uh, in the kitchen. You might want to come back quick. I am back. Shawnee, it's incredible. We just got an email from the chief. He's alive, Jade, alive. And back. Jade! Don't go over the edge. Yeah, bloody heck. Very sneaky, the whole code under the shoe bit. You found them? You didn't screw up my settings, I hope. They're exactly as I found them. Stench and all. Hey, Jut. You were... Dead, I know. But you saved me. You're the one that brought me back to life. You're not the one you think you are, Jade. There's always been a prodigious energy hidden deep inside you. Now it's coming to the surface, and you're starting to understand it. Paige, the kids, they... Yes, I know. Kidnapped too. They've taken them to the Great Crypt. The only way to get there is by using the landing strip. We'll have to come back in the ship, but we can't do anything for them right now. There's too few of us. We need help in order to attack the lunar base in full force. The only way of obtaining the support of the Hillians is to follow Nino's plan, wrap up the report, and use the long-range transmitter to broadcast it. Okay, let's get a move on. Okay, there was a bit of you know, desync there. And now we actually get the combat music as we go on. Okay. Recovering, I know how it feels. I spent 16 hours in that machine. I thought I'd never get out. What was in there longer? Okay, I guess I was wrong, but I, I don't think we really had the state of mind to uh, keep a timer. Uh, let's see, H says 180 in chat, a parasite that's hunting living creatures for their souls and taking them over and make a whole army for just some soul energy of the living, and it is... Thanks for coming to my rescue. Uh, and it is feeling that Jade has a unique soul type. Uh, yes, sir! There we go. It's a the theory. A game theory, before game theory. <laughs> oh, for love of... <laughs> gotcha. Hey, wait a minute. That's the Beluga. He managed to get the old girl up and running. You kidding? I hardly had anything to do. You must have spent a lot of time on her. Uh, oh, we also could have gotten a picture of the map here. <laughs> okay. Ever call a punctuator? <laughs> Okay, now we need to find a way to get on top of the beluga. Uh, what does this do? Okay, that moves that. Uh, no, no, for a moment I thought she was going to jump. <laughs> yeah, press it again. Okay, a bit of light platforming. And I'll, I'll talk a bit more about your no theory in... In a bit, uh, HS. There we go, on top of the beluga. Huh. Then... We can't actually have them activate the, that one. So what we have to do here is, well, do it ourselves. Whilst it's in flight... There we go. There we go. 
And then the last of these. We haven't seen these since the mine. Bit of a shot in design to have this up in a freaking lunar base. And now that we have two companions. Send for. <laughs> also Party. this. Luckily, this thing's aim is shit. Like, Hang on tight. We're almost to the transmitter. As we the overkill for a rat. <laughs> Let's see. And pearls are classified as soul crystals, so the pearl you get are actually some hearts or brains of the dumb creatures. Right. Uh, we we did talk a bit about that before. That uh, basically the doms use pearls t t for their higher caste to reproduce or something, or they infect them to well create their uh, their higher ranked soldiers. Okay, right in the middle. And here we go. The final. Code. You have control of the long-range transmitter? That's incredible! I'll work as fast as I can. Hang in there. Um, you'd really expect them to have better security here, but then again, they are on the freaking moon. Yeah, they probably didn't expect people to come over. Quickly. If the population revolts, the Alpha sections will surely try to flee. Okay, W9J4. 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 Validate. Transmitter alignment. Set target. Okay, enter data. It's up to you now, Jade. Okay. Up to you, hey, on search photograph. Protected system. Blocking. Ten. They're blocking the controls. Nine. Eight. No problem, Oye. I take care of that. Six. Amigos, Segundo el Magnifico is going to show you who is the best. Two. One. System blocked. Nice job, Magnifico. More like Secundo El Major Screw Up, King of the Cretans, Pope of Silencio, the Silencio, my little piglet. Look. Opening system data. Hello, General Secundo. At your service. I have una amiga who would like to broadcast a little report. Set up an alignment on 21.3, por favor, mia bella. Yes, sir, General. <laughs> Get it loaded. Broadcasting. Yep. <laughs> Secundo finally makes an appearance again. His ugly head on your planet. With help from those traitors from the Iris Network, our enemy then there's Montgomery Jack again. Have broken through our protective borders and infiltrated your city. Enough is enough. Amigos, senores, senoras, y of course, senoritas. Keep open your eyes, sir, si tutti quanti. I'm not going to be wasting your time with big speeches. I'm just wanting to show you the whole big picture. Los Alpha Section are traitors, banditos, impostors, rascals, wooden nickels. Look at these photos that we have taken. The Alpha Sections are the accomplices of the Dom's forces. The Alpha Sections are the ones who've been kidnapping the Hillians and taking them to the Dom's. Once the victims arrive on the moon, they're drained of all their energy and die. Since the beginning, We've been manipulated and deceived. Stop listening to the lies that the Alpha Sections are telling you. Down with the Alpha Sections! Down with the Alpha Sections! Revolution! <laughs> <laughs> 
And yes, that's me in the crowd. <laughs> The kids are still on the Dom's base. We have to go back for them. For the time being, we better evacuate the sector. Nice strategy, soldier, but a bit late. Goodbye. Auto destruction procedure engaged. Oh, come on! Yeah, <laughs> at least they're smart enough to try and blow this thing up while we're still in it. There's a fly in my room, apparently. Kill it with holy fire! And yeah, again, you have plenty of time actually. Like, I'm pretty sure you could walk and still have enough time to get out. <laughs> hmm. We are we are actually getting. Uh, now is not time for an email. <laughs> I was remember these Come things. My parlor, send the spider to the fly. Tractor beam activated. Uh. Yep. The truth has finally been revealed by our trustworthy colleagues from the Iris Network. The Hillian people have joined forces to drive the Alpha sections out of Hillis. Once again, the honorable journalistic profession was able to show that it had a preponderant role in the history. These guys are so fired. <laughs> oh, and I actually interrupted a bit of dialogue. Yeah, the boss fight. And yeah, pretty clear what to do. Says the guy doing nothing except getting his ass beat. Then again, uh, it wouldn't be military hardware if it went down that easily. Yep, that's the big weak spot that we have to hit. And here we go. Now the dance starts. Yeah, something is causing slowdown. It's probably the freaking shields. Okay. Get a lock on. And don't get hit. Of course, this is just the warm up. Yeah, we do not want to get hit by that. Fire! Yeah, there's plenty of fire. Mm -hmm. And sappiness. Okay, I'd, okay, we can just go around. You've done some serious damage. Keep up the good work, Miss Jade. Go. Okay, this would look like... Nope, out, hit. I remember this thing being a lot more impressive. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now he's starting to mix things up. And that's one side gone. Catch us there. Go around. There we go. And now he's just firing up everything. Oh, too late. Ah. Okay, we can't. He doesn't wait long enough. Ow. To let us charge. Oh. Okay, so we have to do is a charge shot. Okay, then the moment he's done, there we go. Ah, we're losing control. Keep the tractor beam engaged. 
Okay, that was the wrong stuff to host that. If we want to turn off the tractor beam. Yeah. It still got us stuck though. So Nope. Have to get what? what? Yeah, the, the tractor beam is still locked on. What so about that? It, yeah. Is that is this floating hovercraft airtight? Yep. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. There we go. Hold on. Oh. Um, is that air on the moon? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm so presuming confused. that parts of it at least start, have the minor atmosphere. Okay. It's been a while since we've had the dodge cables. And yeah, now we have to fight these guys, but we have some backup of our own. Okay, that's a, well theory, that's a good theory, he said. That's a good theory. You're not on the blue spot of the moon. There we go. Yeah, th those little those little spots are the things that you launch off with this supercharged super at the app. And yeah, if it hits their tank, it will. It'll, Oh, okay, you can actually take out their shields and of course distract them enough for us to do this. There we go. Again, something is causing slowdown. I'm guessing it's all the sparking. Or not. Yeah, again, almost 20 years old. <laughs> slow down on the graphical air side, but... And so, that motherfucker kicks the, the bucket. All the prisoners are still in there. Yeah. I expected more from him, for some reason. Well, we did fight him in a freaking giant spider mech. <laughs> Also, uh, we kind of skipped this earlier. Will you be able to make it? I want you all the way, Jade. Safe and sound in its shell, the precious pearl is the slave of the currents. Never said a word to us about it. I was afraid for you. Afraid of what? You, you're not like the others, Jade. Here. Yeah. Yeah, if he's been stuck up here for almost a month, he's probably hungry. I located the entrance earlier on. Okay, the elevator goes right to the heart of the Great Crypt. I'm ready, Jade. Notice that he dropped the miss part. Thank you, Miss Jade. You were saying? Okay. Now, I believe after this, there will only be one more save spot. Uh, just in case if I'm wrong, let's put up a save yeah. here. Just in case. Because it looks like I was off in my estimate, and that we will be able to finish this game tonight. 
<laughs> Come on, Paige. I think in part the game is having a bit difficulty with rendering a big uh, area like this. Look out! They're sending in the cavalry! Wait, Jesus, they're everywhere! And yeah, they're not going to let us in without a fight. Yeah, that's all the fighters all of a sudden, huh? Yep, one's on our tail. Where were, where were they earlier? They should have been helping the lead earlier. Uh, I'm guessing they all took the fuck off the pla and the planet once it was clear that they were getting their asses handed to them by it. The, the entire population. Still, so, this is a bit many, don't you think? Yeah. No, that's not what I was. It was only why did these guys in your boss during your, your boss fight? Yep. Yeah, again, my my guess is that they just arrived from the planets. They probably oh, okay. were. The people of Hillis Jade, we'll cover you. Try to get inside the base. We must save those that are still inside. Yep, yeah, that's the population coming to aid. So yeah, basically. It, they just got here to get, arrive too late. Oh, anyway, okay, okay. Okay. no transition yeah. straight from here in from the fight, and there's the last save point. I must I must have overlooked this earlier. Okay, sudden camera jump. And there we go, right back to the top. Also, this is a. This isn't actually the exact same combat uh, team, I believe. Yep. Thanks for everything, my companions. Or is it? I know there. Are, there's two versions of the main combat theme. Starts to track sins of the father. And we are not messing around anymore. They hold the rough the stick. Oops. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Have some bacon, you motherfucker. Last shot, you have to shoot him with a disc. And yes, uh, they did pull a I am your father. Or something alike. Now, mother... Oh, okay, if you, if you attack the wrong way, he instantly attacks. I'm not sure if this... I think we have to complete the entire sequence for this... To actually move on. And yes, he is getting faster. Now they're going for the psychological assault. Join us, Oh no. For some reason his hammer hurts more than the Elpis. Luckily just one hit breaks the illusion. It's your fault that we're suffering, Miss Jade. Abandon. Keep out of this. I should try here for some to stock souls. Last one. get tricky. Controls reversed. Oh, that sounds like a bullshit thing to do for a boss fight. Luckily, things have slowed down, though. So, that is a small mercy. And here we go again. Luckily, I believe he only... Uh, oh, oh, hello. Did I just accidentally... Did I actually discover how you're actually supposed to dodge that? By literally dodging it? Oh, okay. Okay, sorry I was wrong. He doesn't do only side to side. We look a pig. <laughs> so I'm, I'm presuming the statue is some sort of life support system, or was.
Seven. <laughs> and there's the... Uh, the newspaper guy was among there as well. Okay, <laughs> the game ran a bit quicker than the music there. <laughs> and that's oh. Beyond Good and Evil. Uh, okay, nice ending, do it a bit short. What's the nice? Yeah, one complaint that a lot of people have is that the uh, music and Christopher, uh, Christopher Herald. I'm not entirely sure if they if he's done more work besides this game, but I'm definitely going to look up his name now. Wait, wait, wait. You had a bit of a flickering in the sound. What was your criticism uh, here? Uh, I, I didn't finish that. Uh, one complaint that I do hear some people talk about is that the... Uh, yeah, the... <laughs> The uh, quote-unquote chosen one trope comes out of nowhere. I wouldn't really say it's a chosen one thing. More just... Uh, mm, would, I'm not entirely sure how to really describe it. Um, but yeah, yeah, I will I'm... admit that the, uh, the magic stuff does come a bit out of nowhere in the last minute. So it could have been that the game was a bit rushed towards the end, but... I, I still like it, flaws and all. Yeah, it's still a good game. And if they do a remaster of this, they could be do it like this and add what was cut, the cut content. Yeah, especially that freaking lost M disc for completionists. <laughs> Not that I yeah. am. But it, it was once it was certainly one thing that the uh, de completionist channel did complain about. And yeah, now we're back at the lighthouse. No. I'm all. actually going to look up now IMDB, Beyond Good and Evil, to see what else the voice actors from this have been up to, if anything at all. I think it hits its needs a pat, and then going wild in the chat. <laughs> uh. Are you alright, Hayes? Why is this thing suddenly having issues with the Wi-Fi? Oh. Yes. Here, it looks like the Wi-Fi might be down. Uh, let me just turn it off and on, uh, on again. Yeah. Oh, local branch managers. Each of the... all at once. I saw the Dutch one in there, but I didn't get to read their name out completely. Uh, okay, there we are. Now it's reconnecting to the Wi-Fi here. Uh, but then again, there is something in this game that uh, has become more popular again recently. Oh. Oh, the voice actors for the French version. Um, I should note down what the... Oh. I almost hit the... Uh... Oh. I think I saw that Jodie Foster as the... Voice of Jade, I believe. Uh, yeah, it doesn't actually show the roles, though, I think. Uh, let's see. But I do remember the name Jodie Foster. Spanish. Yeah, I'm, I'm presuming that the first... The, the main three that they show are just likely to be Jade, Page, and Double H. And yeah, something funky is going on with the Wi-Fi here, it seems. Not with the cabled internet. Just do the Wi-Fi. Nikki Romain.
which is just one well two letters off from the Dutch word of a Roman. Oh yeah, Romain, with the an E I instead of a an I and a J. What's Mief? Mief, Mief. I believe that's a Dutch uh, name. And here's some more photos of uh, the lighthouse gang and Iris. The Polar bear. chasing a bug <laughs> and one of the I believe that's I believe that's Pablo chasing double H with a freaking stick <laughs> having conquered wolf and somebody dropped the camera trying to get a photo of those two <laughs> yeah the special thanks. And finally, Conco and Nice rejoined. Now, what is something that has become popular again since Marvel started doing it? Post credits. Okay. <sighs> no. What have you done, Helian? Well, you could better ask Ubisoft because they still haven't answered this freaking cliffhanger. Or, Wait, well, it's, it's more of a stinger, is what TV tropes would call it. Wait, hold on, hold on. I've already made a second game and struggled to make it a third. Nope, Are you the they second one, one is still in development hell. Oh, full love of... But I will say this. If slash when Beyond Good and Evil comes out, we're streaming that blindly and possibly well maybe not immediately when it comes out uh, if we're in the middle of streaming something else but the moment we finish with that we are jumping to beyond good and evil 2 if slash when that eventually releases provided it is, it doesn't have a lot of bugs at its launch <laughs> oh clip the english actors okay uh, I, i've also now that I have my Wi-Fi on the phone again, I can actually look up IMDb as for that as well. But thank you all the same, HS. Your what um, now? On my phone. And yeah, let's see. Jody Forrest as Jade. And oh, <laughs> that's that's fitting with Paige. But first, let's have a look at Jody Forrest. Who else she has voiced? Uh, let's see. Apparently. A character in the game 13, Kim Rowland. And additional voices in Ratatouille, Rayman 3. And let's see, beyond that, nothing really I recognize. Let's see. Hmm. Human character voices in Rabbits Go Home. Okay. Mads Monsters. Wakfu, Wakfu, I've... I've heard of that game. No, not game. I believe that's a series. Yeah, uh, that is I, definitely good. You actually I recommended that, that, I think. I, I recommended <laughs> you that the other day and we could uh, try and watch. Okay, that's going on the list as next. After Trigon, if need be. <laughs> what would you go uh, for uh, uh, Star Wars? Uh, okay, after season one, because that show is just so freaking long. Um, anyways, continuing on, some things I do recognize here. Uh, multiplayer voices in Splinter Cell Double Agent. Elizabeth um, in Code Lyoko. I've heard quite a bit of that game. Not that game, that show. It's a, it's a show that looks like a game. But I've never actually watched it. So we could throw that on the list as well. Oh, as well. 
Um, Indigo Prophecy, uh, that has a different name in a different region. Uh, yes, Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit uh, is the EU name of that game. I know because I have it on the freaking in the freaking drawers over there. <laughs> Wait, is it something interesting in the chat? Uh, let's see. HS, I think Beyond Good and Evil 2 idea comes from Watch Dogs and Just Cause. Uh, that you think uh, that it's going to be a lot, uh, that's going to be a lot more open world. I, th I think they, they had demos of what they wanted the game to be like. And one of those demos was basically uh, a bit st like Star Citizen in that you could go all around the entire planet if need be. Yeah, and they even had a trailer. Yep, the the desert one. <laughs> Actually, they had two trailers. The desert one, which was the early, the first one that was a teaser, and then there was the second one with the monkey and the woman and well, <laughs> chase through a a very diverse planet. <laughs> I I def whatever, however, Beyond Good Evil Two is going to end up. I'm going to be interested all the same, it be it a sequel or a prequel. And I, I think he's probably seen at least one of them on his own, but we can, I can definitely... I okay. Uh, I, I could show them on stream, but it would probably get copyrighted. <laughs> I think actually saw them things to Matt... M Mr. Matt Muscle? Uh, yeah, the Matt guy who does the What Happened. Okay, he... And no, I'm not sure if he did Beyond Good Evil recently, or I know uh, I watched he, he the movie. A few, yeah, okay, I did watch that uh, recently after we started the let uh, let stream, let stream that we started streaming. I'm, <laughs> I'm mixing up my history of let's plays and streaming now. <laughs> there, there. Okay, um, a bit more on Jody Forrest. She also, besides the previous one from Code Lyoko, Elizabeth, she also voiced uh, two characters in Indigo Prophecy slash Fahrenheit, Tiffany and Agatha, if my memory is correct, because their name is only partially showing. We might eventually stream that game. It is a very weird one, uh, one that had a, also a rushed ending, so it might be fitting. And then Funk on the show Funky Cops, Miss Lee. Okay. Funky cops? What? Yep. Uh, let's see. Is there filmography? Yeah, filmography. Has they been in anything recently? Let's see. Actress, 42. Uh, 42 posts. Okay. They, the most recent thing that they... Oh, yeah. That's probably a jump. Uh, the most recent thing they did was uh, lending their voice to Kim Rowland in the remake of 13. And what the yeah. heck is 13? Uh, it's, uh, you might have seen bits of it, but it's basically a, a shooter game that uh, portrays itself like a comic with the entire bang and sound effects stuff as well. I'll, I'll show you after this. I never heard of it. <laughs> but yeah, the, the last thing they did before that was in 2015 with the Indigo... Fair, oh, they, they actually put the names together. That's pretty smart. With Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. I didn't even know the game Gridler Remaster. And yes, I know. I mean that 13 or XIII, if, if some would read it, probably. Oh, okay. No, I don't recognize it at all. It's still... Okay, but it, it seems Jodie Forrest hasn't been too active as a voice actor as of late. Uh, a bit of a shame, because I do like her portrayal of Jade. Now, yes, moving on it, to... Was, the second, hmm? She was a little bit flat on occasion, though. Yeah. And, well, the, <laughs> the voice actor of Paige is, I kid you not, David Gasman. Wait, what? Yeah, that's his actual last name. <laughs> David oh, hello. Yes, man. Yep. And he also did voices for uh, in Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. And he's also listed to be voicing... Oh, hello. I didn't expect that one. 
He's listed as voicing Paige for Beyond Good and Evil 2, though that might... These... International Movie Database isn't always too accurate, because I think mo a lot of... Basically everyone can uh, add to that. But if, if he manages to return as Paige for Beyond Good and Evil 2, be it sequel or prequel, that's going to be nice all the same. Oh yeah. And let's see, HS, I like that game, I always battle with my brother. <laughs> okay, and I've heard I've heard plenty that the remake sucks though. Um let's see, more of David Gasman's voice work, Siberia the World Before, uh, which is a recent game, 2022. Gustav Renner. And wait, what? Chippendale Park Life, TV series short 2021. Additional voices, okay. He also voiced characters in 13. Okay, this guy's been a bit more active. Uh, Rabbit's Invasion TV show. Uh, a bit of French stuff. Uh, some stuff I do not rec... Okay, a police officer in Detroit become human. Outcast Second Contact. Cutter. Okay. Outcast is a game I'm curious... I'm interested in, uh, in streaming... Eventually, but Outcast. Yep, not the not not like the bands. The horror game. No, not that's Outlast. Outcast. Oh, thank goodness that we don't have to censor. And um, apparently, he's also been a character in the Born series. And Transporter, Siberia again, a uh, bit of French stuff. I hope I'm not accidentally looking at the French uh, voice actor for this, but there's a bit more English names in here than that. Uh, My Night and Me, don't recognize Stig, uh, Sticks. Uh, you know, remember Sticks, the uh, goblin I, with the stealth I games? Remember. Apparently, he's voiced. In one of the Stiggs games, Aaron slash Arkale. Or, and or, I'm guessing. I have no idea who that character might be, though, but I'm going to keep an eye out for them when we do. And scrolling a bit further. Lucas Kane in Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. That's the main character of that game. And let's see. Shaolin Showdown Clay Bailey. Wait, isn't that the, the Texan kid in that show? <laughs> Yeah. Beyond Two Souls. Uh, hmm. Of Orcs and Men. Ar Wait, Arkale. Ar isn't Arkale the big orc? It might be. Yeah, I forgot the, the name of the goblin. That's a freaking surprise. Yeah, the, the goblin is named Styx. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Uh, we said we were to stream that game. Uh, yeah, it's, that series is definitely on the list for eventually. We'll just have to find out where. And this I didn't expect. Uh, Rayman Origins 2. Rayman himself. Huh. What? Yeah, even though he doesn't actually talk much in that game. He also does voice acting in Heavy Rain and Red Steel 2, though it doesn't say uh, who in Red Steel 2 there. I'm looking at the known for at the moment. Uh, Dracula, Raving Rabbits, Rayman again there. Also Wakfu, Sir Persidal. Yeah, Wakfu is definitely going on the list. And also Code Lyoko, Jim Mor Morales. Okay, that, that those two are going on the, 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 on the list after we've done the first season of Clone Wars. It's gonna be interesting. And Return to Mysterious Island 2. I didn't even know there was a sequel to that game. My father liked that game quite a bit. Uh, more, more voice acting Rayman. Funky Cups as well. Dick Kowalski. And also more Siberia. Uh, ta -da -da -da. I should probably stop. And yeah, there we go, of course, Beyond Good and Evil. Apparently, he's been voicing Rayman since at least 2003 as well, with Rayman 3. Uh, wait, and are we talking about the one that voice acts the pig here? Yep. 
Also, Ray even further, Rayman M, 2001. <laughs> Alone in the Dark, Edward Karn something. I, I know that game. I never played it. Uh, I should probably stop scrolling through this because we are going really, really late. Like now in the 90s. Okay, this guy, this guy has been voicing Rayman since the second game. So he's yep, a veteran, but it's not yeah. a bit. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that at all. And I will stop scrolling there because we are halfway through the 90s with that. <laughs> okay. Holy. Then the last one we're look at now is Double H's voice actor Robert Burns. And yes, David Gasman was the English voice actor because it says so right here, English version. Uh, God, not Gasman again. Double H. Robert Burns. My, my phone can be a bit twitchy at times. Um, come on, stupid thing. And he made a pun without realizing it. Okay, what did I say then? You said your phone is twitchy. Well, be on Twitch. <laughs> okay, now it's trying to get me to raid Beyond Good and Evil. C come on, just select the freaking voice actor. Ugh. Come I'm on. I'm sure the voice actor is very nice. <laughs> Apparently my phone doesn't like him, though. Come on. I'd be surprised if the phone somehow thinks you're trying to look for porn. <laughs> I think actually Double Haze is a pop size <laughs> in some country. Oh. Okay, now it should be loading in on him. Come on. Do you want to do one, what Double Haze stands for? Like, like his it... like first name on H and second name on H as well? Uh, May, he did get called Hub uh, when we brought him back to Iris. And... Come on, it's still refusing to actually load. Come on, Robert Burns. Load. There we go, finally. Okay, filmography. Uh, hmm. Okay, not as, not as active in the Known 4 tab. Let's see, a movie I do not recognize. Double H in Beyond Good and Evil, of course. Far Cry Dr. George something. Uh, Beyond Two Souls. Hold on, hold on. Mars Warlocks. We actually covered that game on Showcase Sunday. Apparently he does a voice in that, or voices. It, again, it's not listing any names here. Okay. And they also did voices in Red Steel 2. Okay, can we get anything more specific? Filmography. Only 17... Uh, only 17 roles attributed to him. The last being Beyond Two Souls and Mars, Mars Warlocks in 2013. So he hasn't been active for a decade, apparently. Or maybe right. the, they might have... I'll have to look if they uh, might have... They might have passed away. Yeah, wasn't it Mars Warlocks uh, one of those weirder motion games we just felt... Weird about? Yeah. Uh, does it note a death date? Let's see. This description. What I hate about visiting sites on mobile is that it tends, it tends to load in different parts at this different rate. So by the time your your finger is moving towards a button, something else might have loaded in, and pushed it away. And it doesn't note a death uh, date, it seems. So it it might have it might just be that they've retired or something, or it's just left the, <clears throat> or they just left uh, the industry. Oh well, I, I didn't think they did a bad job as Double H. Yeah, he did. He made it a few times. And no, I yeah. knew what he's most going to be famous for. Carlson and Peters. <laughs> uh, this probably one of you not lies in name the right quite well. <laughs> it is it is of course a meme among fans of this game. 
But yeah, one final thing. Let's take a look at the making of this game. Uh oh. Nice bits of concept art. I hope more detailed work. Looks pretty pretty Wait, good. What? I see nothing. I see blackness. Oh hello. Okay, that's. Wait, what the heck? No, oh, why, why, is, why is that not showing up? Hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah, now I'm getting into a loop of canceling it and starting it again. Uh, come on. Okay. Um. I'll have to do a bit of a workaround for this then. Control Alt Delete to release. I don't get why it's not showing that. It might be putting it into a format that OBS doesn't really want to work with at the moment. Um, might be. Okay, I'll just add a quick display capture of my the primary screen, which also, well, this gives away of what I see. <laughs> So let's do a yes on that. Um, let's actually crop this down some. Uh, uh, da, 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 transform. Give me a second with this, please. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to try and fit it into the... Ac actually, yeah, I'm going to try and fit it into the window. Uh, transform, copy, transform. And then paste it there okay and yeah this is what i this is what i have on my main screen here as you can see i have a chat program over here hello uh task okay. manager over here to keep a check on how things are running and here we have the stats of obs to check how much many frames are lost and such and apparently shanker crab has just started so i guess we know where who we're going to raid after this <laughs> but yeah as you can see 0.0% of frames lost. That's that's a good amount, if you ask me. <laughs> Definitely a good amount. And yeah, my drives, two of which are actually... Uh, what would actually be the correct word? Transportable? Or portable? I, I just... I plugged them in with USB. <laughs> portable is the term. Yeah. So... Let's get back here and enjoy this. Even yeah, if it is a bit glitching now, I think it's it's supposed to be showing the above and top as black, I believe. And it's being a bit very loud. Actually, on my I end. think... Give me a moment. Is it taking sound from my screen as well? Or from that as well? Because then I it's doubling up, actually. I hear sound just fine on my end. Hmm. And... <laughs> You're getting decapitated by the screen capture screen. <laughs> no, no, you're breaking my helmet. <laughs> oh well. Uh, hope the rest of this won't give you a headache. And sorry if this is being extra loud compared to everything else. So here we go again. Concept arts of Hillis. You know, the workshop, I believe. Yeah, a lot different. Uh, uh, versions of the lighthouse. Just random stuff all over Halos at the channels. Very nicely colored. Oh, yeah. Uh, the caves. Uh, we definitely didn't see any spikes like that. The Dom's attacks. Uh, an early version of the Sea Serpent, the Reaper, and Lovely Jade. <laughs> These pictures again. Hmm. Okay, not much, but still very likable if you ask me. Yeah. But sadly, for now, We'll have to leave this game behind. Though I am a bit tempted to eventually return to this game and play it in Dutch just to see how everyone reacts to that.
<laughs> Here. Uh, now, let me turn that off. And, yeah. Uh, let's see. What was the order I had planned? Because... I was mixing two things together for my schedule, but I've kind of forgotten about it. Did I... I put it up somewhere in the hidden tabs, I think. Um, I should probably... I should probably update that. Because... Yeah, I have it in a bit. I know I put it up somewhere. Was it over here? I'll, I'll actually tell... I'll actually explain the entire schedule that I have once I fin it, find it again, because I'm going to write it down. Uh, let's see. If I search for Rayman here, you should find it. Don't get your hopes up too high. We are not moving to Rayman immediately, but we are getting there very soon. Let's see. That is the latest. Okay. Got one of my pen and paper. Let's see. Beyond Good and Evil, yeah, which we're now done with. Then TM, which stands for Technomate, which is a very obscure game. After that, I have TV, which stands for Tribes Vengeance, which is also a more obscure game. But probably more known than the previous. <laughs> I still gotta have my ventures will drop an entire chat box on top of my head. <laughs> Next up, I've noted ZZ, which stands for Zenzara, the Hidden Portal. Also a very obscure one, because I'm pretty sure it only released in Europe. Then uh, I might I might change my mind on this one a bit since it would likely be a pretty long one. We might move this to sa uh, to Saturday. But uh, next up one? I had noted as Commandos 2, Men of Courage, which is a top-down strategy game. Well, team strategy game. Okay. And then Rayman 2, because I am not starting Rayman 1. I am not... <laughs> I am not going to kill my computer just to, to show that game off. Uh, so oh, you mean the computer I'm... or yourself? <laughs> uh, maybe both with how difficult that game is. Uh, subtitle is The Great Escape. Then MDK2, which is the first Bioware game that I played. <clears> hmm. <throat> And yes, I would I would absolutely rage from Rayman 1 and destroy my computer. <laughs> and I'd rather not. After Rayman 2, or no, after Rayman 2, that would come MDK 2, because I wanted to be well cheesy and put the two two games next to each other. After that would be Rayman 3. And Last in the schedule as written here, the operative No One Lives Forever. Yet another obscure game. And I believe that one was also made by a rather famous, or later famous company. And if I remember correctly, it was by Monolith. But I could be completely wrong Ooh. on there on that. So... One last thing before we end the stream is that I'm going to look up who the hell, if I am cor correct there. Uh, the operative, no one lives for ever. Yep, yep, freaking fly. Yep, it was Monolith Productions. I, I don't think I'm familiar with them. Uh, Shadow of Mordor. I not, haven't played it. <laughs> uh, they've been, they are behind quite a few other good games. But yeah, that's the schedule as we have it now. Uh, once we get to that, we'll see how we go. Um, I've never played No One Lives Forever 2, but I have heard that it is still pretty good, uh, though it does have its weak points as well. But we will get, we'll probably get to that after No One Lives Forever and another game after that. 
Um, we'll just have to see what game we put in between, well, no North, as it's also called, 1 and 2. So, yeah. That's the schedule, that's the planned schedule for the moment. Uh, there could be changes made, like I said, I might be, I might remove Commandos 2. Uh, I'll definitely be playing that with a guide. But... Um, and then it also but... depends on how cooperative the older games are. Uh, yeah, we've already had to cancel... <clears throat> We've already had to cancel Escape from Monkey Island because the game just wouldn't want to work with us. Yeah, um, and just the idea of how to restart it from the very beginning to try to avoid a bug, get past the sluggish cutscenes. Yeah, just... and the randomized combat at the very end of the game. Just no. So, yeah, next Saturday, next Saturday we'll be moving on to... Uh, Tales of Monkey Island, like we were supposed to last Saturday. Ronaldo, yeah, we tried it on Sunday, yeah. but didn't go as planned. Yeah. Ronaldo, we are done with Beyond Good and Evil, and I hope to have... I've already tested Techno Mage, Tribes Vengeance, and Senzara, if they work with OBS. They did for what I tested of it, but if, uh, if Techno Mage, Return of Eternity which is its subtitle. Uh, if that works uh, more, if, if we, yeah, we will see Thursday if that game will fully cooperate with OBS beyond what I tested of it. And I yes, hope it does. It. I, I hope so too. So for now, I'm going to have to deny Drakir his view of OBS for a bit, or at least uh, make it smaller. Bring up yeah, my browser, <laughs> and we are going to raid somebody, because I've forgotten to do that the last few times, and I'm not going... Oh, hello there. Oh, I... That... Uh, ta -ta -ta. Someone else just started on, and uh, it's Tatum. Uh, Tatums? <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to send you the link to them as well, because I... Uh, I do like them. They, I, I'm... I'm not sure if it'd be too early to call them a friend, but we definitely seem to be capable of tolerating each other, so I'll leave it at that for the moment. <laughs> Do remember, Twitch doesn't seem to like my uh, broadband due to it being slow. The few times I tried to watch Twitch, so many buffering. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to start up the raids. Uh, I'll need to start. I'll need to go to these. <laughs> I'll need to watch my own stream. <laughs> How so narcissistic could I be? Eh? Okay. Slash raids. Uh, hey. Announce messages. Da -da -da -da. Can highlight with need one of four. To play more Valheim to make sure you know how to raid. <laughs> You're usually the first one to die. Raid po them. Starting that up, okay, and just to be certain, I'm going to put the link to their channel up in the chat as well. Hmm. There we go. All right, uh, anyone who'd want to join in on that, uh, please do. Um, but for now, though, <clears throat> thank you all for watching. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. Thank you all for watching. Yeah, what, how was that? <laughs> I'm getting flustered. Anyone who has been watching now or later, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, HS180, for sticking along with us for this stream. Uh, I hope I'll see you more later as well. And uh, you're definitely welcome to keep uh, to keep watching me fumble around if you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, as all, uh, actually, there was one else, someone else as well. Uh, I'm not forgetting. Uh, da -da -da -da. Thank you as well, uh, Lepetite Dutre Dutroire. That that sounds French for some. I I think that's French. <laughs> Thank you for watching as well, and uh, nice try on the prank. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, of course, as always, thank you as well, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And I know you almost forgot me there. <laughs> no, I did. Um, yeah. Sure. Th thanks again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until next time. Be safe, folks. And watch out for seagulls. <laughs> Hehehehe <laughs>